What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you another heart braid tutorial. This is the second time I've tried this, so I'm going to show you another method of creating this braid. Today, I'll be doing two heart braids on Mimi's hair in the back. The first thing I did was make a part from ear to ear, and you can take some product to really define the lines of your part, then create two sections by parting the hair down the middle. I'm going to start with the left side first, so I twisted the right side out of the way. The first thing you do is part down the middle of that little subsection that you just made. This is to create the two sides for the heart. You pin one side back and start working on the opposite side. To start creating the heart shape, take your comb and part diagonally down. This part will start where you want your heart to be curved, but don't go too far down. I'm going to be using my braiding and twisting grip glaze to control the frizz and tame away her flyaways for a more neater looking braid. To begin the process, we're going to start from the inside corner and begin braiding upwards. And once you're at the end of this first piece, start curving the braid around and connect it to the bottom section. This is a super cute and trending style and I'm looking forward to see how it turns out today. And I hope you guys give it a try as well. If you guys would like to see another method of how I did this braid, just click on the video in the top right corner. Now, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. The one thing I would say is to make sure the other diagonal part you are going to make matches up to the other side. This will help the part to look symmetrical. Then you are going to repeat the same step, braid from in the corner, go around, and then down.
Now it's time to repeat the same process with our other section. So once again, we're going to part down the middle, add some product to define those lines, and then start creating our diagonal line on one side, whichever side you're going to start working with first. For added length and body, I did go ahead and add a piece of kinky twist at the ends of the braids. Once you're done, to define the heart, you can either have both ends of the braids cross over or connect both ends of the plaits into one single braid. I crossed over mine by taking my needle and thread and sewed the braids down together. To complete the look, I added gold thread on one side of one braid and put beads on the ends. 